Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we made our way all the way up to the tippity top of Hyrule Castle and completed Crisis at Hyrule Castle, or at least we made progress with it. We defeated Phantom King Ganon. It was really scary and very difficult too. But now that we've gotten that done, I guess we'll just go back to Lookout Landing and see what's next for us. Maybe Pearl will be able to say something? I have no clue. All right, we're back to it. I don't know how much of them really knew what just happened to us, but our goal right now, as according to the game, is uh, return to Lookout Landing and talk to Pura. And that's exactly what we'll go do. So right up this way. And we have so much more like powerful gear now too, which is so exciting. Um, yeah, everybody is here, including Inoba. Whoa, yeah, we have all of our friends here. Hi, Riju. I'm glad to see you're safe, Lady Riju. Of course, you needn't always worry about me, Bolo Yara. Because they all helped us during that big fight last episode. Oh. This is so cool. So, I thought Boliari might have something to say. Uh. King Sidon, are you hurt? Oh. Huh, of course not. Not a single scratch has marred these fins. Oh. You're protecting Lookout Landing and not just lazing around, right? Oh. We're doing a good job. Oh. We only lay sometimes. And of course, we have a Tulin up here. Oh. You've grown bigger while I've been away, haven't you? Stop treating me like some little kid. Those injuries on your wings. This is a sign of time of, of the times. You've clearly been doing more than your fair share, haven't you, Tulin? All right, well, the atmosphere here is pretty intense, right? Let's go talk to Pura. Welcome back. Looks like it was pretty tough. So, how did it go? I mean, it went. It was really tough. But I couldn't have done it without these guys. I see. To summarize, there's no mistaking that what you all saw at the castle was the Demon King from the Legend of the Imprisoning War. Yes. And the princess you've been seeing was actually an imposter. And the reason she appeared at Hyrule Castle was so the Demon King could lure Link into a trap. I knew something seemed weird. I mean, about Princess Zelda not doing anything to help these troubles everywhere in Hyrule. But it's all connected. The upheaval, the problems our homelands have been facing, the fake princess, it's all happening because the Demon King came back. Mm. So, then that means that Princess Zelda isn't actually here? Instead, she's in the distant past and not in the present, right? Mm. Yes, we should consider that to be the case, bizarre as it sounds. It also seems that Princess Zelda was trying to somehow defeat the Demon King in the past. Mm. Well, that was what the imprisoning war was. Our ancestors made a vow to Zelda. They swore that when the Demon King were, were, was revived, their descendants would awaken as sages and fight alongside Link. Aww. With Princess Zelda in the past, we can't ask her what the plan is supposed to be. And she can't be here to fight with us either. Aww. We also don't know anything about the Demon King other than the fact that he's bad news and super strong. What do we do? <gasps> I'm still glowing, by the way, for the food I ate last episode. Hmm, based on what you have each told me, it appears that the princess was making preparations in anticipation of the Demon King's revival in this era. There must be some hint we still haven't figured out here in our time. Oh. Right you are. We cannot, we cannot afford to stand still at a time such as this. It is imperative that we act. Hmm, hmm. but without any leads. Hmm. Oh, wait. You said that six sages were, the, were with King Raru when he fought against the Demon King during the imprisoning war, right? Wind, fire, water, lightning, hmm. and time. That was the princess. Ooh, wow. I see. Huh? What is it? What do you see? Huh. That's it. There was one more sage back then. Oh, we don't have enough to win. Wait, who is that? We didn't see them before, did we? Huh. Exactly. One more sage that might be here now. I'm sure this is the lead we were hoping for. It will be well worth our while to search. Mm -hmm. Each of you awakened as sages at ruins from the Age of Legends, right? Maybe the remaining sage is in a similar location. Hmm. That makes sense. So we should search major ruins from the Age of Legends. 
They're as good a place as any to start. If we just searched all of Hyrule randomly, we'd probably never find the Sage. Uh. All right, we have a plan. Let's split up the work and get to it. Yeah. You four go back to your homelands and gather information about ruins that might be related to the remaining Sage. Linky, search around and see if you can find any other undiscovered leads. Huh. Everyone's relying on you. Don't let us down. <laughs> yep. Seems like we have our work cut out for us. Just getting started with this adventure. Find the fifth sage is our new main quest, which I guess we'll get started with pretty soon. And then Crisis of Hyrule Castle has been updated. You told Pura about the imposter princess and how Demon King Ganondorf is trying to rise again. Hyrule Castle remains a devastated place and continues to float above ground. And then the fifth sage, or find the fifth sage. During the ancient imprisoning war, it was Princess Zelda and the five other sages who fought with King Uraru against the Demon King. Pura told you that in order to find the fifth sage, you should investigate the ruins from the Age of Legends. These sages have their own regions covered, leaving you to search elsewhere. Which, for right now, I guess we just want to talk to Pura? Mm -hmm. We have to protect Hyrule, no matter what. Princess Zelda wanted that. But the Demon King's power is a force to be reckoned with. So for now, we need to search for the fifth sage. Mm. Following the upheaval, I mobilized the Zonai survey team and investigated ruins connected to the Zonai. But so far, we found nothing about the fifth sage. There must be some clue hiding out there that we haven't yet found. I can feel it. The fifth sage? So King Raru and the six sages fought the Demon King in the Imprisoning War. Princess Zelda was one of those people, the Sage of Time. There are the five sages we know of, wind, fire, water, lightning, and time. That leaves one more. There must be a clue to all of this somewhere. I think it's worth revisiting the ruins from the Age of Legends to see what we can find. The Age of Legends. What exactly are they talking about? Do they mean, I mean, maybe, I don't know. For a second I thought maybe they meant like, you know, the Great Plateau, but we don't really have too many more leads in that. I don't think she's gonna say anything more. Battling the Mighty Demon King starts with finding the Fifth Sage. Okay, understood. We need to thoroughly investigate the ruins from the Age of Legends once more. So I think that, logically, the best thing to do now would be to work on some of the other main quests if this isn't really uh, being super obvious because investigating ruins from the Age of Legends, I just don't really know entirely what it means, but I think that what would be cool from here is to start working on things like the Dragon's Tears. I think getting maybe this history would work out a lot. So that's what I wanted to start working on today, the Dragon's Tears. You found one of the mysterious Dragon's Tears within a geoglyph and received the vision about Princess Zelda by investigating it. Impa thinks that the mystery of the geoglyphs might connect to something that's inside the Forgotten Temple. It's located somewhere along the bottom of a canyon in Hebra. So that's the one I want to focus on for right now, we've gotten one of the Jiglas before, as I just said, but we need to find the next one. So to do that, let's get over, I guess, to here, the Sahiro Shrine. I mean, I guess we could really just start taking this path because I don't think we've taken this upper Tabantha path. So it gives us a reason to explore a little bit more of this whole region. Maybe I will start from over here though. And we'll sort of get back to exploring more of Hyrule. Okay, so we're here. I want to go ahead and change my clothes a little bit. Hold on, uh, wrong one. Here we go because we are a little chilly around here. So if I put on some of those, that helps out a ton. Okay, so we know which way we're headed. I just wanted to, like, you know, from the tower, it's a little bit higher up. I feel like it'd be easier just to start over there. I guess I could launch myself. Maybe that would have been a good idea. <laughs> Who knows? But you know, this is something I've been meaning to do for a long time, is simply just, are those Lasophos? No, those are, uh... ooh, actually, I see some vocal ones up here, some of which I have yet to take a picture of, I think. So let's go ahead and get rid of you if I can. I missed, Never mind. that was embarrassing. Ready, and, boop, boop, one more, one more. Gotcha, land right there. I took a little bit of damage, uh-oh, uh-oh. Wait, wait, wait. Hi, whoa, cool picture. I hope that counts. It does, silver vocal blend right there, cool. Um. What do you think you're doing? Oh, ow, oh, that hurt. Okay, <laughs> not a good idea. I already need food and I'm already out of food. Do I just want to glow for a little bit more? Sure, there we go. Um, They're gonna try to attack our friend now, which is her, oh, the combo. That was cool. Let's keep swinging, because I almost got you. I don't know what they have on their head there. Interesting, oh, I was trying to get you there for a moment, but didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. Ooh, gotcha. Oh, that didn't work. Oh man, I thought I could have slammed them before they got their swing in, but 
not quite. So the silver enemies, as to be expected, are the most difficult yet. Let's try that again. Okay, it actually restarts me with just standing on top of them. So, you know what? Let's just go ahead and try to slice away at them a little bit. Maybe this is the thing to do. This is great because they're just not even getting up right now. And then, oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, I almost got you. I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm not playing well so far. I took a couple days break to catch up with some other games, so. I don't know what they were trying to do there. Come on. Trying to hit them, but with this javelin, it gets a little bit scary. And here come two more silvers. Uh-oh, I'm a little scared now because I don't have too much health either. I've been meaning to cook a little bit, but I don't always have the time. Oh, they're pushing me away with that, too. You know what? More distance might be good. Here, if I could just get on and then just try to slice you now. That was a good chance right there just to get some shots in, and then we slam you. Ready? Oh, no, <laughs> come on, okay. I think I need to get a little better at the game before I fight these guys. All right, got rid of one of them, which is pretty big for me. Uh, I don't think I've gotten pictures of any of this, so I just wanna, oh, come on, that's not gonna count. Oh, please leave me alone. They are really trying to go for me here. I guess it didn't count the fact that I uh, ate that. Whoa, he's charging me with this. His horns there, I've not seen that before. Okay, ready and try to hit some of them. If I could just make some distance here, the game is really slowing down at the worst times. And then try to get you, you held your shield up for that one. I'm trying to get a weapon. I don't really have too many two-handed weapons right now. Or one-handed weapons, actually. Ooh, I have the, the, the Gloom Sword. Remember, these can be pretty dangerous. What about the Gloom Spear of Spear then? Ready? Oh yeah, this hurts. Every time I land a shot, I guess, or something like that. Oh, I'm getting it back though over time, but then I lose it. It does so much damage though that I think it's pretty worth it. The rest of them are fighting each other over there. One more shot should do it. There we go, very cool. I'm glad that over time though, you know, just sort of gets better. So what did I need to take a picture of? It was this silver bokeh blend horn, just like that. Cool. And if we pick that up, that's something new, the silver bokeh blend horn, a large blade-like horn with a unique flourish on the tip. It's sharper than it looks, attach it to a weapon to vastly increase attack power or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Cool, and we also have some nice shields here. Um, any better than the ones I have? I mean, a couple. We can drop the Lysel shield, um, pick that up. And then the royal broadsword has to be better than something I have right now, right? Uh, maybe not. I guess I'll leave it then. Whoa, hey, hey guys. The, the enemies are really starting to get super tough. Oh, I do got this Black Horbin Sledge. Maybe I should help out here. If I can get rid of the Silver guy, I feel like he's the most painful to deal with. Oh, you did like a super slam. How have I gotten a picture of you? You look new, you have the Captain Construct 4. Uh oh, so you might be a bit of a trouble to deal with, but let's definitely get you here. We are getting into some late stage enemies here. It's really intense. Okay, so I grabbed a couple of things here. Need to try to shoot you like this. My my roll Guard's bow is ba badly damaged. Eric goes, let's go for something a little bit lower damage then. I mean, this is one of the lower things I have at the moment. And I could start using some more monster parts here. I have a lot of them. Um, Something like if we go way down here. I'm looking for, I thought we can freeze them. I could try a Keese Eyeball just to guarantee me. Ooh. I was hoping it would guarantee me a headshot. Didn't really do that. Um, can eat some extra food like that too. Got you again. The problem is it knocks them back so far. Okay, you know, Bo, go ahead and knock them out like that too. And then if I could just get Sidon's water effect, I feel like, oh wait, you know what? Come on. I was trying to get Sidon's water effect and it wasn't working because everybody else is in the way. <laughs> Jeez. That is the one thing about the friends that like I'm not enjoying too much right now is just, it's hard to actually activate them exactly when you need them. I wish there was just some button to press, just like was like there was with the older spirits. I'm gonna try fighting one more time. If we die this time, I'm moving on. We'll get stronger stuff over, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm starting all over. It doesn't save any of that. Then, I mean, I think I'm good. I got the pictures, right? I got the pictures. I think I'm just gonna head out. We'll, we'll fight more guys later on, because that's just too much for me right now. So you guys have fun, you guys fight. I'm trying to make my way all the way over here. I wanted to follow the main path at least to some degree. I don't know, it might be faster to go some other ways now at this point, or go through the tower and fly up. I don't know, at least we got some pictures. That's what's really important. Okay, so we're flying, I launch from the tower. I'm trying to get to that one shrine over there that I definitely haven't completed. Oh, it's too cold up here, even for my pants. Huh, gotcha. Well, there's not only much more I can equip at the moment that would help me with that. So we're just gonna keep moving. I guess it's just sort of extra cold around here. If I get lower, would that help? Maybe? 
So far, no. So I'll just let it do whatever damage it wants to do. Very odd that it's even colder all the way over here. But I definitely haven't done that shrine. It's on my uh, pins. So if I could get that one, it'll just make traveling this area a little bit easier. And we're slowly getting there, but it is still not getting any less colder. So that's a bit of a pain. I am also starting to run out of stamina, but we do have some stamina food. So here's hoping I make it. I think we'll be fine. Okay, just a little bit more. We're in the South Hebra Sky Archipelago. I think something we discovered before. I think now would be a good time to eat this, get my stamina back. We're almost there. It'd be a shame to fall now. But I am making it farther than before. It really takes a lot of stamina to get this far, though. Okay, almost there. Okay, I need to eat the other stamina food. There it is. Thought it'd be easier to fly over, but it really did take a lot. So now we can start falling a little bit more like this. Come on, keep it going. I guess the original plan would have been to go through all of this mess, which at the least I could maybe ascend through this. Uh, maybe I can't. Okay, never mind. We'll leave that for later. There is a chest up there. Ow! <laughs> we got the Aro Muak Shrine that I want to get to right here. Let's give this a try. Okay, a launching device, Aro Muak Shrine. Ooh. Okay, so we have a big bullseye we need to hit. Oh. Are these new rockets? Or are these the same rockets? They look a little different, don't they? Oh, I see. If I could get it in that little sort of slot there, maybe it'd just be able to launch itself. There it goes. Boom! Not quite a bullseye, but I'll take it. So there's our first one done. What's going on inside of here? Whoa, I think we're gonna have to attach a rocket to that for sure. What else do you have going on around here, though? Okay, for now, I guess there's a couple to experiment with. I do wanna get back over here. Oh, they reload. Perfect. So I can definitely grab this one, put it on the back side of this one, and get into some trouble with it for sure. Uh, like this. Okay, it's not directly on there, but I hope it's enough. Boom, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> okay, it's just barely enough. There is a treasure chest way up there, so that does make me curious. Are there any other rockets around? Yes, there are. So, but this these do dissipate after use. So what I wanna do here, if possible. Uh, this is gonna be pretty crazy. Okay, that's on there nice and straight. That's good. I wanna put it like right about here and then get another rocket. Cause I wonder if I could just stay on top of it. And I'm sure I could, right? And get that right about there. Okay, that should be good enough for both of them. Off we go. Uh, all right, there it goes. No problem, make sure we glide. Ooh, that was crazy. Let's open up this chest. And inside, we get a ruby. More than that though, we just get it sort of uh, discovered. So what happens if I just stand in front of it? How far will this push me, you know? Far enough, maybe? Oh, come on! Ah, <laughs> almost close enough. What if I stand on top of it? Am I being silly by trying this? Maybe, but I feel like, you know, might as well. Um, I don't know if it lets me stand on top of it. Oh no, there it goes. It won't let me hit it though. Well, here we go, here we go. Whoa, no, come on, that was even worse. Okay, you can't stand on it. That's not gonna work for this the purpose we have here. Unless, hold on. I'm, I'm determined to do it this way if I can. Do that. This is gonna get me over there, for sure. This is gonna do it. Okay, so, attach that there. Pick my arrow back up. I really wish he would just attack it, but I got the arrow back. Never mind. <laughs> I really thought that would work. Okay, let's grab this. I might have to 
do something to get that back over. I don't know, okay, they just all show back up again. So I guess, I mean, this fits perfectly in there for a reason. I think it's a, it's a good idea to attach it, all three of them, if possible. Maybe have it more on the side for the sake of stability. Yeah, something like that. Then we have liftoff. We're gonna get launched across for sure. There we go. So I guess we really can't stand on them, but we can just make a platform for us to stand on them. There's one shrine done today. That should be really useful. All right, so we're back out of there. Glad we can get that one. It just makes it a little bit easier to get the places we need to travel around to. So I just wanna jump across to the next platform, or I guess path is more so the better word, which should be just, yeah, right here. So we haven't really followed this path too much. I think we can bring it up here to the Tepan of the Hills and eventually get over this way. I know that we've obviously already explored this one, now it's tier of the dragon number one. So I'm hoping that with this one, we can just do them in order and hopefully get all of the tiers of the dragon in order because the first one we found was very cinematic and exciting. And we do have a little tent over this way. Is anybody inside? Hello? I guess not. But there is a little note. Note on the table. Nat's Mushroom Quest Chronicle. My sister, Megan, and I came all the way out to Hebra in our quest for mushrooms. Thanks to the upheaval, all sorts of new caves formed around here. And they're just full of good stuff. But my sister and I aren't after bright bloom seeds or ore deposits. No, we're after the precious mushroom that only grows in caves and you can bet we're gonna find a ton of them. So I'm guessing they mean, I mean, there's a lot of mushrooms in the caves, but the most common one seems to be like the uh, the bright caps and stuff like that. So maybe that's what they mean, maybe it's not. I wanted to do some cooking while we're here. I think mostly with uh, truffles, but I don't have too many. So if I hold one of these and then maybe a couple of apples, we can make a quick meal just to boost our hearts. Even plus one will make a big difference. Uh, just different things we can make where we can just sort of be stronger. Yeah, let's do this one. Prepare this in a dish, maybe with a couple of golden apples or something, or maybe just one. What do we get out of that? Four hearts and defense up. Okay. Hmm. Let's use some prime meat for sure. We'll do prime meat and then maybe we have only one egg left. I'll try to keep one of everything if possible. Maybe we'll do this. Meat and honey. That makes energizing glazed meat with a little bit of stamina restoration. Okay. Um, what about with the acorn for a nutty seasoning? I don't think this will actually do anything to improve the food. Uh, meat skewer. Okay, cool. We also have some different fish we can cook with, things like the high bass. Um, it can be eaten raw, but cooking it you know, improves. So what if we just did two high bass? We get a fish skewer, which sometimes just making things like that can be nice, but we could combo that with like, you know, um, a sizzlefin trout boosts your resistance to the cold, especially since we're in a cold area, maybe something like this would be nice. It's just gonna be another spicy fish skewer, but it gives us cold resistance. So just having things like that around is always good. Uh, and then of course the crabs replenishes our stamina. What if we did that and a fish? Would that be like a seafood mix? Yeah, energizing seafood skewer. Instantly refill some of your salmon wheel, a skewer of delicious roasted fish and shellfish. Okay, what if I did that and an apple? Or two. I think it's gonna be like crab and fruit or something. Energizing seafood, okay, it's just the same thing again. Okay, uh, we could also Hylian tomato, recover more hearts. Yeah, I really haven't done too much cooking with the Hylian tomatoes, but it does make simmered fruit, nothing too, Crazy, I guess. What about with just tomatoes? Simmered tomato. When simmered until tender, nutritious tomatoes can give this dish a sour kick. Awesome, so I'm glad we were able to make something. In oh, maybe these are the two mushroom hunters. I guess we'll find out. We traveled so far, this is pointless. Not nah, please, I just can't do this, at least not with this cave. There are lots of other caves opened by the upheaval. Let's try a different one. This one is surely for, full of Creatures different from anything we know. And I was already itching to go home. Ah. Come on, little sis, you can do it. I mean, we traveled all this way. We need to gather those bright caps inside at least. That's what we came for. You can find them only in caves. We made it here safe and sound. I can't bear to leave until I have 10 of them. Let's go in, please, we've gotta go. Uh. You can go by yourself, Nat. Oh. Wait, what? No, we need to go together. Oh, oh that aroma, that soft light. 
Could could it be that you have some bright caps? I really, really want bright caps, and ten of them should do the trick. Would you maybe give them to me? Sure. Here you go. Ah. Thank you. I don't I didn't don't expect them for nothing. So here, I'll trade you this. So we got the spicy tomato mushroom stew. Grants low level cold resistance, a dish of fragrant mushrooms simmered with tomato. Healthy and rich in fiber. <sighs> You're a lifesaver. Now I don't need to go into that awful cave. But I have to say, it's amazing that you collected so many bright caps. I mean, they're found only in caves like this. Oh. Yes, it is amazing. Ooh, you love a good cave, don't you? And so do I. They can own all sorts of wonderful things, alluring things, valuable things, like the gems from ore deposits, bright bloom seeds that illuminate dark places, and bright caps, of course. So you know, if you had enough of these bright caps, then maybe you could try, you know? Uh, -huh. uh not, you're not thinking about that, are you? And him? Ah. I never, not that. Unless, you know, maybe. Uh -huh. What are they talking about? Right, we agree, I think. <laughs> Sorry, forget you heard anything about that sister secret. Uh... But if we meet again, it'd be fate, wouldn't it? Then we'd have to tell him. Uh... Whoa, Nat, has this guy caught your eye or what? Uh... Don't be ridiculous. That was just a thanks for the bright caps. Uh... But I will say, we're scouring high and low for something in, here in the Heber region. We searched most at the south, so now we intend to go to the north. If we meet again, We'll tell you that secret of ours. We'll see, we'll see ya. Hey, let's head out, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> see you around. Well, it's nice meeting you both. Good luck with whatever that is, but cave mushrooms that glow. You gave Nat 10 bright caps and learned that she and her sister Megan are on a journey looking for that. Uh, they wouldn't tell you what that is, but said they would let you in on the secret if you meet again. It sounds like they're going to the North Northern Heber next. Gotcha. So, got that quest completed. Right there, cave mushrooms that glow, complete. And what's going on down here? So, obviously this is a cave we've yet to really explore too much. It didn't do the discovery thing though, which is a bit odd. I don't really have too much to break things with right now. I gotta get another sword. Uh, maybe I could do this Goom Goom Club. I really shouldn't. Okay, no taken. Don't do that. Um, I won't. I will, will eventually get the hearts back though. So maybe it's not too big of a deal. But yeah, I can at least replenish the break caps I used there for that little side quest. Shouldn't be too difficult. They're, they are really all over the place, and you can see we still have 90. <laughs> so it wasn't too much of a harm to do what I did. So who's down here, huh? Oh man, it's a silver one. It's a silver one. Oh, these enemies are getting so scary. So let's go ahead and get that. This most recent jump in difficulty has been a really high one. Um, that was cool, but while he's crying about it, we gotta go and keep hitting him. Throw a couple more bits of damage out there like that. Come on, help me out here, Riju. Boom, that's got hurt. Keep going, keep going. Got it, amazing. So we found a way through all that, defeated that guy, and he should drop some monster parts if I can use. There's a rock sledge that I probably wanna use. Uh, whoa, is there another one? Ah, oh, there's a like like. Okay, first off, silver, horrible, and horn is what I want to take a picture of. Awesome. Anything else? Uh, not really. So, we'll pick it up. A curved horn with an extremely hard tip. Attach it to a weapon to vastly increase its attack power, or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Pick up all this other stuff too, but all stuff we've seen before. And then this is just a normal like like. Nothing too crazy about this one. I'll wait for you to stick out your tongue a little. Come on. Ooh, ooh. Come on, that's gotta make you mad. Aren't you hungry? They're being picky right now. Come on, do I need to hit you? Is that really what has to happen here? Ah, there it is, okay, scary. And then one strike is enough to knock you out with this thing, because it's so powerful. We should probably use something else, though. Whoa, there's that treasure chest. Falling all the way down. What do we got in here? A kite shield, whoa! Rito Warriors cherish this shield. Its unique shape is designed with mid-battle flight in mind to facilitate, facilitate aerial combat. I have never seen this one, so let's just drop something really quickly so I can take a quick picture of it. So cool looking. Here, let's equip it. I love the look of that. So it has durability up, but in terms of actual like you know power, not really the best. The kite shield. I mean, I don't think I need it for where we are in the game, but it is very cool, for sure. I can appreciate that. Um, up here, though, not seeing many more enemies. Of course, we're gonna be searching around for that frog. 
with the bubble jam. Gotta be around here soon, right? So I guess I'll run across here, grab some more bright bloom seeds, and Ooh, whoa, hold on, we get another piece of rare gear. That is super exciting. So basically, you know, we, in these caves, we have found more and more of this. Now we have another. So with this one, I guess we'll get across like this. And boom, let's see what kind of interesting gear we get out of this one. Frostbite shirt, made for ancient rituals. This item's cold absorbing cloth produces frost in low temperature environments. That is so cool. So look at this one. So fancy too, I love the intricate details. So I can't wait to, of course, complete more of those kind of uh, gear pieces. But for right now, we just got so many cool pieces of armor. Um, I think we should just keep with this. The more defenses I can muster, I think the better. Uh, isn't that where we just came out of? I think it is. Well, hey, get that sticky lizard. But we're not quite done. I think there's more up that way. Ow, come on, I thought I could jump over it. I couldn't. Instead, we jump, jump, got it. How am I getting up there? I mean, I guess I could just climb it. Oh, and there you are, I've been looking for you. Boom, gotcha. I think he was about to attack me, which would not have been fun. But I get that bubble gem, get a couple of extra goodies around here. Colton is gonna be so happy the next time I see them. Okay, I'm getting all of that. So I don't see too much more else to do in this cave. We got the check mark for it. So after I grab a couple more bright caps, I might just send my way out of this one if the game would let me. Right here, okay, got it. We're heading out of here and on to the next part of our adventure, I suppose. Takes a while to swim out of that. Where are we though? Are we right by the shrine again? That is so funny. Okay, so. I am curious to see what's in that chest. So I might as well go for it. Um, do I have enough stamina to climb it? I really don't think I do, so I think one thing that would be better is if I just uh, used a hover stone. All right, so where did the stone go? It's right here. Just wanna activate it real fast, pick it up, and bring it up there. And I'm thinking that should be enough just to reach the next spot of it. Let's find out. Yes, it is. All right, very cool. And then from here, open these up. What do we got? A mighty Zonite shield. Whoa, a shield used by Zonite and made of Zonite. It is very durable and draws on its stored energy to more efficiently use an attached Zonite device. So, drop this one. And drop it. Take a picture. Just like this, it's so golden. I love it. So I'll have to start attaching Zonai devices to these for sure. I could fight these enemies. I don't know if I wanna get into too much trouble with it, especially since there's a bunch of them, but you know what we could do? That'd be really fun. Um, we could hit this. Oh, you guys are in so much trouble. Hold on. There you go. Oh, that sends you all flying. Most of the weaker ones are dealt with with that, but of course there are still some hanging around. So let's hit you like that. Um, fall down here. Get the king a little bit. We have a lot to deal with with this king. And the spell, yeah, slowly breaking. But we have plenty more where that one came from. I know that the silver guy heading over here too. If I could sneak up on you a little bit. Oh, hey, watch it. Here, I wanted to, yeah, do this. That wasn't so bad. And maybe, oh, hey, watch it. One at a time. Oh man, back it up a little bit. Have I got, ever got a picture of this one? Yes, I have. Oh, you tried for the big swing. Didn't quite work for him. He is really trying to get me right now, so if we could just go back in there. Um, gotta beat the silver one a little bit, but I'm about to knock him off the side of the mountain. Come on. Whoa, I tried to jump back from it, and I sort of did. Oh, oh, nice. Great job, guys. Got that major royal claymore and a bunch of other stuff I need to pick up before it rolls down the mountain. What happened to the other guy? Oh, he's still down there. Not gonna be happy when I find him. What is he gonna do? I guess they'll maybe just find another way back up. Odd, we might run into them again. But for right now, we got a little bit of a, I guess, spoils from that fight. Very cool. How much damage does this do? Probably, you know, nothing too crazy, but I definitely need to use these wands a little bit more. Let's get over here. Take this open, or whatever. 
and we get a spiked iron ball hammer. A stick cut with a from a tree trunk. Yeah, I think that we've gotten that um before, but 34 damage is pretty strong. Is it stronger than most of my stuff right now? Not really. I mean, some stuff, yes, yeah, some stuff, no. Maybe it's time to drop like the Soldier 3 Reaper. So, drop that, pick this up. And this will be great for breaking things. So, I don't mind it too much overall. Let's see, drop this. And make sure I have a picture of the, the gnarled thick stick. I had a feeling I didn't. Cool, now I do. So I'll definitely pick that back up. Grab this food, the seared steak. I don't know where that silver bokoblin went, but I guess it doesn't matter to me too much. We can just keep going, because we have a lot more to get to if we want to try to get to this geoglyph. And you know, that's sort of just what I do in this game, where I get very distracted all the time. What's with the windmill? There's a couple of those along the way. I guess it doesn't really have much for us, though. But I can get back onto the path right over here. I mean, we're not too far from where we were. The tent is right over that way, I'm pretty sure. So if we get over here, whoa, what is this cave? This one looks crazy. And what is that up there? That is just a swift violet. I don't know what, ah, hey guys. Um, Wait, hold on, you know, Bo, where are you? I need you. Ah, it's too late, isn't it? Hold on. Yeah, way too late, oh my goodness, that would've been so cool. Uh, Discovery. What kind of cave is this? The Tabantha Hills Cave. This might go on for a while, who knows? Cause it has the slippery ice on it too. That might be really hard to climb as we get farther in. Um, I will switch to this brand new spiked iron ball hammer. Get some amber from that. And I guess we just wanna try to avoid the ice. I mean, maybe we can melt it. Is that the idea? That we melt it and there's like stuff behind it? That might be the case. Okay, first off, see you over there. Hopefully we can just go and get that now. But that's only the beginning of our troubles here. Wow, okay, there's some enemies over there. I was able to one-shot one of them. I'll go deal with the rest soon. Come on, don't let me fall like that. Are you kidding? Okay, wait, jump, jump. Come on, Link. Oh, you just barely made it. That was beautiful, actually. You can grab that, the bubble gem. That's our 11th one. And a bunch of other goodies. Cool, so. Back over here, this is a silver one, real scary. Gotcha, another shot, right there. Okay, so while you're falling, you're hurting your butt, I'm gonna start swinging at you with the spear. Keep you at a safe distance, it might hurt a little bit, but we can always make that health back. Okay, the first part of it broke. A little unfortunate, but I guess I could get some more monster parts attached to it soon enough, but we got more friends over there, which we can beat up pretty easily. I'm a little scared, they almost got me. Okay, you know what? Nah, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. I was gonna throw it at them. I don't think it's a good idea anymore. Uh, I can't quite get them from here, but... Oh, come on, that should reach. Gotcha. Was that it? I, I guess that was it, okay. Cool, we'll get a little treasure chest from that one too. The horrible ones always have some cool stuff. So definitely wanna grab all that. They did have this royal halberd right over here. So I'm hoping that we can at least grab that. I don't know, yeah, let's just, hmm. This thing is pretty beat up. But even though it still has 40 damage as a base. I don't know, I wanted it to, you know what I should probably do? Since it's on its way out, maybe it'd be smarter just to drop it, pick this up right over here, and then fuse it with the boom spear. There we go. I think that might be the best way to extend the life of that weapon. I'll break this open. Same thing over here. Get up this way and grab all of our goodies from surviving and winning that battle. Okay, so inside of here, what do we got? What do we got? A soldier's claymore spear. Whoa, this is new. A spear used by Rita soldiers, its point is now decayed. It still boasts quick attacks in midair and produces a strong wind. That's really cool. So I'll drop what I currently just made just so I can take a good look at this. Um, I'll go back up there and grab that in a second. Oh no, it fell. Okay, I'm good. Um, really curious about this then. I mean, I think, oh no, never mind. I thought that it looks like a new thing. I guess we've had this one before. Never mind. Now I sort of see a little bit more of how it looks. Not as impressive. I forgot that we got a Rito Sphere already. Why can't I pick this up? Here, put it down like this. Now I can pick it up. And can Yonobo help me at all with this stuff? 
Yes, he can, at least sort of, kind of, for a moment. If we just stand there with our ruby rod, it'll just melt it over time. So I think that's the plan here. I mean, I could also swing it. Oh, that makes really quick work of it. Okay, that's that's actually a way better move to do. So if we go like this, we get a feathered spear. Okay, so I, I really don't need this, but I will just um, drop something once again, just so I can make sure this chest stays open. Pick that back up. I'm <laughs> doing everything but picking it back up. I think we could probably combine our weapon with these icicles over here too, which is pretty cool. So my question now, really fast. Can we melt these things? I don't think so. Oh, I'm looking at it, yeah, we can't melt those. So I think we're done. Cause right up there was, oh yeah, I know, okay. I know what we're doing, I know where we are. We can hop right back down and I can grab some friends. Oh, I got three of them, cool. Okay, so back out here, that was a cave well done, I think. We can continue up this way. I do wanna go ahead and change my weapon. Maybe I'll just keep with this Black Lysol Reaper for now until we use it up. And there is some kind of house over there that I don't think we've seen before, so I'm really curious about that too. We still have quite the ways to go before we get to the Geoglyph, which is concerning me in some ways, but I am determined to get that done in today's episode. I wanna see another Geoglyph memory really badly because it was a lot of fun last time. We have some of the chill shrooms up here. Definitely wanna grab those. That one right there. And right here, I hear some monsters. Have these monsters taken over this place? Might be the case. Right now it's just a bunch of uh, basic red ones, so really easy to deal with. But I will go and grab them. <laughs> Glad I activated all of my friends. Ooh, definitely pick up these spicy peppers. Always nice to have some of those. Okay, so yeah, let's, let's see what's going on inside of here. Is there, is there somebody there? Maybe someone's someone's come to help. What are you saying? Why would anyone help us? This place is crawling with monsters. Huh? The monsters, I can't hear them anymore. Come on, Joko, what's what's taking you so long? Quick, you gotta unlock the door. Okay. Uh, hi. <laughs> we just barge in. You defeated the monsters? Thanks for helping us. We took a break in this here vacant house to get away from the cold, and before we knew it, monsters had us surrounded. Hey, you should be sure to thank him nice and proper like. Oh. I still can't believe you came to help us. You really did save us, you know. Ever since the upheaval, there have been more and more monsters. We were trying to be careful, but... Ah. I don't know how to thank you enough, but please take this. Look at the spicy elixir, nice. Ah, but it doesn't feel like it's thanks enough. Not for someone who saved our lives. Oh, hey, I got an idea. Mister, do you know anything about shield surfing? No, what is it? Shield surfing is a way of getting around by riding and sliding on a shield. First, you hold up a shield, then you jump on it and ride. But you gotta get some momentum going or it won't work. It can be kind of tricky like that. So this is something we did do a little bit in Breath of the Wild. We can ready our shield, jump, and then ride. Hop on your shield and slide down hills. Ah, that's right. If you like that shield over yonder, go right ahead and use it. We brought plenty of our own. <laughs> I may not look like it, but I used to be a professional shield surfer, you know? I heard a rumor there was this legendary surfer somewhere in the Heber Mountains, so I came here looking for him. Hmm. But, well, I didn't know their exact location. Worse yet, I took a break here and ended up surrounded by monsters. <laughs> hey, but if you need to know anything about shield surfing, at least I can help with that. Anything you don't understand about it, just go ahead and ask me. Open the door side quest. Did we just complete that? I guess so. Inside a cabin were a couple of travelers, J J Jogo and Yama. They were on their way to see a legendary shield surfer but were waylaid by monsters. For defeating the monsters, they rewarded you with a spicy elixir. They will also give you a shield for shield surfing as a reward by, for helping them. What kind of shield is this, just a traveler's one? So uh, make sure we have the picture, I'm gonna talk to you two again. If there's something you wanna know about shield surfing, all you have to do is ask. We're great shield surfers, as you can probably tell just by looking at us. Uh, is there a trick to it? Oh. Hmm. You two want to build up momentum before you kick off. Personally, I like to get a running start or surf down a hill. <laughs> Anything else you want to know? Uh, my husband and I are fonts, are, are, are fonts of shield surfing know-how. I don't think so. Hmm. Ah, heading out? I guess we should too, now that there aren't any more monsters to worry about. 
You know, I wonder if the stories of the legendary Shield Surfer are true. I know nothing about them, except that they're rumored to be in the Heber Mountains up north. Might be dangerous. Well, I would definitely like to find them. But yeah, Shield Surfing is pretty fun. We just um, go like this, right? Ooh, and we get that slide down hills. I haven't used it too much, but honestly, I think a lot of the time we're going uphill anyways, but whoa, we're really moving, actually. This does use up the durability of it sometimes, and oh, look who's over here. here. Let's get you guys a little bit. Actually, oh, maybe my pictures before didn't count. Cause I'm pretty sure I got a picture of this Captain Construct before, so glad I got a picture of it now, but uh-oh. They're not looking happy. Uh, Oh, no, you don't. Ooh, there you go, thank you, Tulan. I think we should start using some of this stuff. So if I can get my Sapphire Scepter and yeah, just swing at you like that. Um, and then really try to get rid of you a little bit. Whoa, okay, you know what? Oh, come on, I tried to jump over it. I'm trying to fight you right now because I don't appreciate this. Okay, I can't jump over it, it's just not enough. It's too high up. Ooh. This does not have a weapon attached to right now, so I'm better off using my Black Corbin Sledge. There we go, there we go. And then your friend over there has got to go. And you two, come on, come on. I got a flaming sword now, so it's a little scary. Which, you know what, I think means that we should cool you down a little bit. Cool. Oh, I got both of them. So, now we really go for you. A couple of hits there, should do the trick. Ready? Oh, gotcha. And then you. Gotcha. Keep going though, don't leave it like that. Maybe we'll use this Gloom Sword a little bit. It's just a slicing of that does so much damage. But I think we need to do the Gloom Club Club. <laughs> Funny name, right? Um, but I'm too close for them to really do anything about it. I can just keep striking them. Tulan's gonna get a good shot in too. And boom, we gotcha. That was not easy. We do get our hearts back and we get a Mighty Construct bow. Um, and maybe a few more new things. Get the Captain Construct Four Horn. That's really good. So happily taking that one and all the other goodies you have for me. Captain Construct Four Horn, a mean looking branching blade like horn. Its edges and tips are extremely sharp. Attach it to a weapon to vastly increase its attack power. And then over here we have something new. This is the mighty Zonite Sword. Ooh, has the flame on it right now that I might just remove. So, a powerful sword used with the Zonite and made of Zonite. It resonates with attached Zonite devices to greatly increase its attack power. So if I really want to, what I should do here is first off, um, this, I need to drop it. I don't think I need it as much anymore. Let's get the Flame Emitter Club. Destroy the Fuse Material. Go over here and check out what other goodies we got. We already got this horn. And then over here is just a wooden stick. Okay, I thought it was some kind of horn. Um, and if I sort this by Fuse Attack Power, I mean, this is one of our now most powerful ones. Whew, lots of choices here for sure. But maybe I just go with the Silver Horblin Horn. I mean, actually, no, this is, I need to do a Zonite thing. So, uh. I think I go with this. I mean, I'm sure I'll run into more soon. I should probably keep one of each of everything, but for right now, I could really use the extra damage. I'm gonna get that there and then fuse it with this sword and it should make a really strong sword. 55 damage on one sword is fantastic. And look at this thing swing. It's gonna be good. So we'll save that for now. Good to have it for sure. I do need to eat up on food. I might just keep with something a little bit more simple. That gives me cold resistance that I don't quite need right now. Uh, Ooh, you know what? Let's do this one, perfect. Anything else we can grab around here? Oh, well, there's more monsters to fight. Uh, that's just a Soldier Construct too, which is way, way easier to knock out. So we'll do that. I'll probably just walk up on you with maybe the, the hammer. And we'll get a couple of uh, bits and bobs for that. Great. I don't see anything more going on around here, so I think we continue down this path. And I did see my blue stamp. Where is that exactly? I don't know. Oh, that's way out there. So not gonna worry about that for now. But if we see any more like obvious downhill sections, we really should just start to shield surf a little bit, but not seeing too much of that around here. I do see you. Okay, gotcha. I'd like to take those monster parts. I don't know if we've gotten too many of the ice keys things. So it's good to have some. I do see another fire way up on the top of that, so maybe there's another Psychos waiting for us there. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> right now, I'm just focused on getting these geoglyphs done. And maybe just right now, this will be a good excuse to you know, explore more of the of the Hyrule map. So this is the Tabantha Village Ruins. 
What can we find in here, huh? Right now, just a chill shroom. Anything else around here? Should probably pull this out more often, just to see if there's maybe more chests hidden in the snow that I can't see very easily, or something like that. There's a well. I need to find all these wells. Oh, wait a minute. This is one of them, right? I don't know, it looks like it right here. One of the geoglyphs, weird. Anyways, ow, broke through this. This was what well? The uh, Tabantha Village Ruins well, I'm guessing. I don't know if it actually told us, but we're in here now. I will just melt whatever I can. Oh, there's some paths in there too, okay, cool. Same thing right over here, got it. So let's take a look around down this way then. Oh no, there are enemies in there for sure. And some of them are just starting them out just by being near them. Try that again. Hi, uh, fancy seeing you here. Let's go with this first guy. Don't you dare beat me up like that. Okay, what's inside of this chest too? We got a purple rupee, whoa, I'll take it. And we got a roasted acorn, an acorn cooked with direct heat. Its nutty aroma has been amplified. And we also got a toasty hill island shroom. What is this attached to? It looks like a perfectly round, rounded ball. Snowball spear, that's cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to break this a little bit more. Or not. Okay, ready for another one? There we go. <laughs> okay, and then we should be able to fight you off pretty easily. Gotcha. We got plenty strong enough weapons for all that, so let's take the monster parts and skedaddle on out of here. I wanna go one level up so we can jump down to the other spot of it. Because remember back at home for every well that we find, oh, that one didn't have anything. No, this one did. We're earning up money, technically, for every well that we find. Because uh, there's that one quest that we have ongoing that if we find every well, we'll keep getting more and more rewards for it. Was that it for this one? Nope, there's one golden one over here, so definitely grab that, a ruby, sapphire, and a our amber. Pretty nice. So I think that's it for this well. Made quick work of that one. We're back out here to the surface. I'm wasting no time. We're back to running through this stuff. I didn't see anything in those buildings, but you know, I could be wrong. I just don't think I am. Oh, here's a treasure chest in this one. I'll take that. It has another kite shield. Uh, I don't really need it, but once again, I just wanna make sure that we have it so that these chests sort of stay closed in that way. And getting closer to that one mountain, which is that where I'm headed? No, it's farther than that. We still have a lot to go here. It's actually a little overwhelming, but you know, we're at this point where I can maybe use the spicy elixir, keep ourselves warm for a few minutes because it gets real cold out here during the nighttime even with our fancy pants. Not really seeing Addison out this way too much, but we're finding some of the little, you know, collections of things, but no, no Addison. Ooh, what are these? Oh, they're creepy. Ooh, they're really creepy. They're just sort of sitting here. I wonder what's up with them. I bet you there's probably one just sitting around somewhere that maybe I could put in the middle of the three? Maybe. I have a feeling that's like, you know, suspect for a Korok seed. Oh, you know what? For ourselves, let's get over here and see for ourselves, what is that? Huh, huge encampment for sure. Let's give it a go, hold on. Whoa, we're moving. You get to go so fast with this too, it's a lot of fun. Oh man, okay, we gotta steer a little bit. Whoa, wait a minute. Hold on, slow down, slow down. Luckily, we can slow down pretty fast. I don't think I've taken a picture of this Tabantha moose. Looking off in the distance, being very um, introspective, I'm sure. You do your thing, Tabantha moose, I'm proud of you. Back to back to having some fun. We're making some really good distance with this one. Oh, and look who I was just talking about. We got Addison over there, and oh, what's this? Whoa, the game froze for a second. That's how cold it is, the game itself is freezing. <laughs> It is so cold over here, this is crazy. Poor Addison. How you doing, buddy? Um, This one might take us a second, but I think we can handle it. Um, Let's get this over. Would that be too tall, or would that just fit in perfect? I think it would just fit in perfect. Awesome. 
Um, that's exactly what I was hoping for. So that maybe, I'm hoping I can make quick work of this one. I'll have to wait and see. If I were to just do this, would that be enough? I don't think so, but we're gonna find out. Okay. Try loading go. Uh, good enough, right? Yes, awesome. How's the person standing? That was brilliant, thank you, thank you. So yeah, build that one up. That was the quickest one we've ever done, I, th I feel like, so I'm just really happy about that. Let's see what kind of cool stuff we get for this one. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. So I get 20 rupees, as per usual. <laughs> and you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. Spicy veggie rice ball, so more uh, resistance there. And then finally, a sleepover ticket. We have a lot of these, but I never yeah. use them because I, I want to get the pony points. Oh, and there's our tower. I want to get to that at some point soon. The sooner we can clear up the map, the better. The problem is that path doesn't exactly lead where I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to get over this way. So this is maybe where we just brave it on foot for a bit. You can see Colton out that way, which hey, if I can catch up to them, might be fun. But what's the deal with this super well-guarded monster fortress we got going on over here? I think I'll start. No, 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 no way that you see me over there. Come on, come on. Gotcha. Ooh, we're on fire. Oh no, no, monster forces, Marauders of Hebra. Oh, this is crazy. So I might just have to fight you first. Here, help me out, you know about, oh, good combos with everything. Super slamming you. Oh, you're not happy about it, huh? Well, you're not gonna be happy about this either. Boom, boom, boom. Wait, there you go. Knocked you out and they got a bunch of showrooms for us. Don't mind if I do. I'll take everything I got. Who else is around you? Cause that's only the beginning. Oh, scary. Actually, super scary. Got so many of them. Here, knock them back. You know, Bo, I could have used that a millisecond sooner, but it's okay. If we could start fighting, that'd probably be a good idea, but if I could also just get rid of some of the smaller forces here, I feel like that's gonna be a really big deal. I'm a little low on health at the moment. I think this is where we go ahead and we just uh, get our extra golden heart. I need to get better, way better at timing my stuff. So let's do this. I'm gonna hold this shield out for a moment. Actually, maybe. Maybe the night shield. Ooh. Oh, I lost the golden heart right away because of that. Whoa, you're new. We got the silver. The silver boss Bokoblin. Our old team is trying to beat up on him. That's amazing. Got you pretty good there. Come on, what do you think you're gonna do, huh? Ooh, my friends are gonna help me. I need to just get a sword. Okay, that's not really like a one-handed sword. Would this work? No. I don't have really many one-handed swords at the moment. Not even this Lysel Reaper, right? No, this is, this is. Okay, the problem is it's not so damaging now. Um, I'm trying to time that stuff a bit better, but easier said than done at times. But that's sort of the thing, you actually don't need a lot of damage if you can time your dodges well enough. Oh my goodness, close one. Oh, try to knock me back with that. Oh, we got it, we got it, okay. I just need to focus a lot on getting better with that kind of thing. Because we can just wail at you now, and you can't do anything about it. Pretty crazy, we have all of our friends helping us out too, so now I can go with this. Um, luckily, they're keeping the silver um, vocal blunt really busy. Okay, I was, I was, oh, why'd I do that? That's not really what I wanted to do. Uh, okay, you know what I think I should do? Focus on you. Electrocute you like that. That'll make you drop all of your weapons and now you're gonna be in a ton of trouble where I can super slam you like this and then come on super slam you again. You're gonna try to go for that stuff, which is not really good. Oh my cold resistance is almost up. So everybody just go crazy on him and there we go. We did it. That was amazing. And we got another silver Pokemon horn. Oh yeah, that's right. It didn't count before. So um Drop this really quickly so I can get a picture of it because that picture I had before didn't count because I died. Uh, there we go, cool. Which means I still haven't taken down a picture of that enemy yet, I don't think. So that's sort of a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and get another uh, spicy elixir in us. We do have a few more waiting for us anyways. Um, all sorts of stuff earned up there. I have a night shield, which might be a little bit better than a, uh, this is night shield, right? Yep, okay, so better than this. So I'll do that. I'll also organize these. A little bit better, cool. 
And what's the deal, wow, with some of this stuff. We have the silver boss Pokemon horn looking insane over there. So cool. The boss Pokemon fang. A circular serrated horn. The neatly tied strap contains arcane power. Attach it to a weapon that to vastly increase attack power or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. And a bunch of other stuff here too. And we also have this Royal Claymore if I wanted to try to get rid of something to combine it. I mean, we also have this Royal Broadsword. I really need a sword more than I need a two-handed weapon now. We have a lot of two-handed weapons. And if I organize this by most powerful, what is something with a super powerful that we have more than one of? The Silver Horrible Horn. Or we could do the uh, Black Boss Pokemon Horn. I might keep with this for now. Give the more powerful stuff for when we really, really need it later on. So, not with this, but with this over here, we have that um, improved Flurry Rush. 37 damage isn't so bad. I don't know if we got a chest for defeating this thing or anything like that, really. Here, gonna get this stuff over here. Gonna bring it up really high up into the air and just try to break it. I broke one of them. Uh, Okay, good enough. Let's break some of this stuff too. And it's not really too much over that way. But yeah, I'm glad we were able to do all that because it was just really fun and cool just to fight so many enemies. Well, didn't see this. Oh yeah, and I really should have used uh, Reju before, but there's so much going on and so much I have to do that it's easy to sort of get carried away with other things. What's going on over this way? Anything cool? Oh, we got another one of those giant spikes. Which they didn't really use at all. Whoa, can I just move this? I can. I wonder if I could have caged one of them. That would have been neat. Uh, for right now, we got an opal in that chest. Always good to have some more opals. Get that over here. Pick up a whole bunch of stuff. A baked palm fruit. This palm fruit was broiled with direct heat, resulting in steamed flesh inside the rind. Best served at the moment the, at the moment the juices emerge while roasting. And the toasted hearty truffle. A hearty truffle roasted until its outside is crispy. It tastes great, but hearty truffles are far more effective when cooked into a recipe. I agree. But you know, I didn't do that, so can't blame me. Anyways, I think there's still yeah, more to find here for sure. Several chests worth of things to find. Um, I don't really need to grab any of that, but this chest right here, all ours. We get a Hinox hammer for 35 damage. Ooh, I mean, I guess it's better than the Captain Three Blade. We need to focus on you know, what is gonna be upgraded. Okay, feel bad leaving such a good piece of gear there, but so we gotta do arrow times five. And uh, Amber, cool. So we still have this spiked iron ball. Need to break all this step open. One more time, got it. Got a couple of arrows, couple more cooked food, which is really helpful in those battles when I just need a little bit of a pick-me-up in terms of health. I don't think there's much up here. This looks like more of an outpost for them. Yep, okay, so we cleared this area out super duper well and we're almost to our goal. So we will keep flying off this way. Up two one pushes forward. And like, will somebody be over here? This is where I'm a little confused. I don't really know. Is this something? It's not. Um. The three snowballs are peculiar. And there's another Lysel over there too. We gotta be getting close, right? I would think so. So it really wasn't up here at all. It was way over there this whole time. I don't know. Or maybe we're just now really getting close. Is this gonna be, cause this is the, I think the, what is it? Impa thinks that the mystery of the geoglyphs might connect him to something that's inside the Forgotten Temple. It's located somewhere along the bottom of the Canyon of Hebra. So I guess another way to do this would have been just going through the canyon. <laughs> Maybe I should have done that to begin with, I don't know. Uh, but hey, whatever it is, it's right here. I'm really curious about it. I don't know if we'll have the time to actually explore it today at this rate. We'll have to probably go into the whole thing next time. The Forgotten Temple. Wow, and there they are. So we will be continuing to explore and trying to find more stuff in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.